G'day guys, welcome to UNI Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And it has been quite some time since I posted, so I do apologise for that. But I thought that I would have a little look back into the past, see what I had on my 2020 wish list, see what I brought, see what I didn't buy, and uh, whether or not that is following on to my 2021 wish list or not. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Alright, so if you're just interested in what I'm going to talk about on my 2020 wish list, then I'll leave a timestamp here for you, but I am going to have a little bit of chat to people who are interested. So uh, if you've watched a couple of my uh, previous videos, you would know that I've had a lot going on in 2020 and also a little bit before 2020 as well. So it's just, it's just gotten a little bit crazier and crazier. It seems every year that rolls on, things just sort of... Hmm, pop out of the uh, woodworks and just surprise me. So um, 2020 was pretty horrible for us, actually, uh, with the exception of going on a cruise, a family cruise. That was fantastic, and it's just one of those things that we would have never have done if it wasn't for um, my partner's father and much gratitude there. And um, that was the highlight of 2020, and it was just all downhill from there, unfortunately. And I'm not even talking about COVID. Like, COVID is like the icing on the cake, um, but not the good cake, you know, not the good icing. Anyway, um, so 2020 was a wash. Just want to completely forget all about it. But 2021 hasn't started off great either. Obviously, um, towards the end of uh, uh, 2020, we had to deal with... Um, my son getting uh, type 1 diabetes and which was a complete culture shock because nobody in my family has type 1 diabetes and so it's not like I thought it was either hereditary or um, you know something that you developed because of diet I had no idea that type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes were completely different and that type 1 was an autoimmune that anyone um, can get just for getting sick or <laughs> uh, getting um, an infection or just whatever just the body decides to attack the pancreas one day and wham bam thank you ma'am you're a type one for life so um yeah still wrapping my head around that and um and it's a lot it's a lot it's it's a learning curve every single day and um yeah so there's some things that i'm not going to talk about that have been developing over the past year and is following on to this year and has sort of been making things quite difficult but um there are a lot of things that i am looking forward to in 2021 and um i'm actually quite looking forward to going back and having a look at what i put on my 2020 wish list see what i actually purchased and what i didn't and what i still would um so yeah anyway i think that's enough gas bagging for now and we should get into the video all right, so this is in no particular order um, of whether I purchased it or not. These are just the things that are on my wish list, and I'll let you know as we go whether I purchased it or whether I didn't, and there'll be an image on the screen here somewhere for you guys as well. If I don't post something on here that you're interested in, whether it's the price, uh, where I brought it from, uh, or anything like that, hit me a message down below, and I'll definitely get back to you and let you know. So here we go. The first one that I had on my wish list was the Thank You brand body wash uh, which I purchased from Chemist Warehouse and I look I predominantly purchased this because I heard that all the proceeds of this goes into um, charity 100% of the proceeds go to charity uh, and I looked into it and it's true and I think it's absolutely fantastic I don't understand how a business could survive um, I would assume that they would have to take the cost out of like um, obviously labor and products uh, electricity and all that sort of stuff and then whatever's left over I would assume could go towards charity um, but anyway I was excited for it and I can tell you that I really do enjoy it um I have brought two bottles of it so far but then I've fallen in love with something else and I kind of like haven't gone back but I definitely will um I, I really love I think it's a cedarwood I think it's a cedarwood scent I know pictures on the screen anyway but I absolutely loved that and let's move on to the second thing on the list which is the Shea Moisture African Black Body Wash. I love this. This has become a staple in my house. I love it. My partner loves it. Um, I've seen a significant change in the acne on his back. 
I just love the smell of it. I love the gentle exfoliation. I don't love the fact that it is black and it looks like that I'm washing myself in black poop. Um, <laughs> but everything else I do absolutely love about this and we've purchased this probably about four or five times now. So, um, oh yeah, and I don't really like spending $20 on the bottle, but it does go a long way. You just got to remember to close the lid up properly when uh, you have it in your shower caddy because it does fill up with water and then, hmm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on, the next thing that was on my wish list, oh yeah, I didn't tell you. I, I Obviously, I purchased the Thank You Body Wash. I obviously purchased the Shea Moisture Black African Body Wash, but also on my wish list was the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream and Shower Gel. And I did purchase this. I purchased this in this little set thing. Um, and it also came with like a, a little body spray as well. And I hated this. Um, obviously there's a big hype about it. Uh, a lot of people absolutely love it, but I've heard that you either love it or you hate it. And I'm in the hate it category. It's too strong. Um, people say that it smells like caramel. It doesn't smell like caramel to me. It just smells like a headache. Um, I, I can't even put on the smallest amount um, without having some sort of tension, headaches. It just it didn't work for me. I don't like the smell. I don't like what it does to my body physically. And um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm glad they had that little pack though. Uh, I'm not as upset about spending the money on that um, than I would be if I had gone out and brought one of those big, big ones because I don't like the price of the big ones either. So I'm definitely glad that I got the Traveler's Pack. So yes, um, I did get that, uh, but I'll never get it again. Next thing that was on my list is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. I really wanted to get this, um, but there was nothing else on the website that uh, I can get it from in Australia that I wanted, so it just didn't come home with me. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to... I Yeah, I will probably roll this over onto my um, 2021 list. I've written it down, so I'll let you know at the end of the video uh, whether I'm going to put it on my 2021 list. So I've got I've to think about it first because I've got a lot of lip balms now that I need to get through. So, hmm. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing, which is the Chemistry Brand Hand Cream. Um, this obviously gets a lot of hype too. And I don't know, I'm sort of on the fence with this one. While I, I did purchase it, and while I was using it, I felt like I could see some um, sort of change, I guess. But then I couldn't tell really if there, there definitely was change because it's got like a highlighter effect to the hands. Um, and with my hands, they look, I don't know whether you can see it or not, they look, they look really old. Like they are... I'm a lizard, okay, like wrinkly skin. I've it's always been like that, you know. Um, anyway, so on, on one hand, I felt like that they were being moisturized and it was doing everything that it said that it did because it's supposed to fight so many um, signs of aging. Uh, I don't know how many they claim. I think it's like seven, maybe it's even more. I don't know. But like I said, I think, I think that um, it's a little bit disguised by the fact that it has something in it that brightens your hands and when I say brightens I mean really illuminates like you've just rubbed a highlighter over it um, which actually doesn't make my hands look much more attractive to be honest with you it sort of just really highlights the wrinkles um, uh, so it yeah. but I, in saying that I haven't found another hand cream that I really enjoy more than that one except for the scents of other hand creams like the scent of the chemistry one I don't like um, yeah, I'm more into sort of like the woody scents, the sort of like nature, not floral, fuck floral, uh, especially rose, <laughs> um, but like, you know, cedarwood and, um, lemongrass or lemon myrtle or, you know, just things like that. I do like citrus, um, but yeah, so I don't like the smell of the chemistry hand one. I can't really tell whether it's any good and I hate the price of it too for the how little that you actually got. Like I flew through this, um which is predominantly the reason why I won't repurchase it. So yeah, there you go. All right, let's move on to Melt Cosmetics. There are two things that I wanted here, uh, which was the 420 palette and the Gemini palette. The 420 palette? Did I really want the 420 palette? Well, apparently I wanted the 420 palette, but I was under the assumption that I wanted the um, Gemini palette and the Smoke Sessions. So I guess there's three, where did that go? 
Apparently I wanted the 420 palette and the Gemini palette, and I know I definitely wanted the Smoke Sessions palette. Now the reason why I didn't pull the trigger on any of those is because I'm still kind of freaked out about people's, um, which one was it? I think it was the Gemini, yeah, it was the Gemini palette. People were sort of like growing or expanding or something, and that really creeped me out and it's sort of like, oh. So I thought I'd like wait to see what was going to happen with more of their palettes that they've brought out. And I haven't really heard anything bad um, since that palette. So I may consider putting that on my 2021. Maybe. I don't know. Oof, I'm still just a little bit concerned that I spend that kind of money just for it to sort of expand and turn crappy. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. I'm pretty sure there's quite a few other things that I want to get from um, Melt Cosmetics, so we'll have to look into that. But anyway, moving on from Pixie, I wanted to get the Glow Tonic. Um, I didn't get it, but I've been meaning to, but mm, I'm like, do I want to spend the money on this? Because I've never tried like a proper um, chemical exfoliant. Uh, I've had like mm, ones that you can get from the chemist that, I mean, they're okay, but they're not... Mm, and you don't really notice anything sort of different, so I don't, I don't know. So, um, yeah, but I did not purchase that. Then we'll move on to Wet n Wild. I wanted to get the Dewy Foundation, and the only reason why I wanted to get the Dewy Foundation is because I'm on the hunt for the perfect uh, foundation for me. So I thought I found it, but I'm starting to notice that sometimes this foundation that I wear actually ages me. Um, and actually that's what a lot of foundations seem to do with me. It doesn't seem to matter how much I moisturize my face, how little I powder it afterwards, or how much I powder it afterwards. Um, it doesn't matter whether I use a BB cream, a CC cream, full coverage, light coverage, a powder. It's just, I don't know. I can't seem to find the perfect combination for me. And um, I can't seem to stop it from sort of settling into lines. I've got, I've got a lot of lines. Um, <laughs> I've got really old looking skin. So what can I say? Um, but anyway, I haven't purchased that yet. Um, and I probably won't, to be honest with you. I think I only put it on there because it said Dewey. So, and because it's affordable as well, but yeah, I don't know. Didn't purchase that one, so let's move on. I had on my list the MAC Paint Pots. Uh -huh. yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, I wanted, I wanted it for quite some time um, as an eyeshadow uh, base, but I could never make up my mind whether I wanted Painterly or... Is it Soft Ochre? Hmm? These two. Anyway, I couldn't figure out which one I wanted, you know. I'm probably going to also go with Painterly, but I wish there was like a colour in between. I don't know if there is. I do believe that they've come out with some more. Um, so I'm going to have to look into that. And I still would like to try it. I just don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But I didn't purchase that one. We will move on to another MAC product, which I wanted to get MAC lipsticks, which I did actually. I, I bought two. I brought... Um, what colours did I get? I think I got Whirl, which is what I'm wearing at the moment. And... Velvet Teddy. So um, I've been watching Kat from Kitsnitch uh, for quite some time and she's always bragging about Velvet Teddy. And her lips are pigmented different colour to mine and so I never really pulled the trigger on it because I didn't think that uh, it would look any good on me. And I brought it and I tried it on and I love the formula, the matte formula um, of both the lipsticks and I don't mind it. On me it's a little bit peachier than I would have liked it liked it to be. Um, but I enjoy it. So that's that's a bonus and I really do enjoy this Whirl one as well. I was never into sort of like browns or beiges, be browns or beiges or anything like that up until recently. Um, but I'm experimenting and I'm really enjoying it. So we are going to move on to Clinique. Um, I had on my list the Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. Uh, I didn't buy this. Uh, two reasons. One, Actually, I think there might be three reasons. One, uh, it's very difficult for me to put liquid eyeliner on because of my deep set hooded eyes. Um, and so I kind of got a little bit, hmm, I don't know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Downhearted? I got a little bit downhearted because I was worried that it was going to be too hard. And, hmm. and then also the price of this one, I'm like, do I really want to spend that much money on liquid? <laughs> no. Yeah. Mm. Um, and was there a third reason? I think the th 
third reason is I didn't actually research to see whether it was a felt tip or a brush, and I want a brush tip, not a felt tip. Um, so yeah, I didn't purchase that, and uh, that one's definitely not going on my next list. So we will move on to the Clinique Foundation Beyond Perfection, and that's the foundation that I'm wearing at the moment. And in winter, I absolutely love this. Like, it's perfect in winter, but in summer, I'm feeling kind of crusty. Um, so I am still on the hunt for another foundation. So I love it in winter, don't love it in summer, So and I don't really see much difference when we're in spring or autumn, to be honest with you. So yeah, I did buy that, and um, that's at the moment my only foundation that I have, although I'm getting a new foundation in this month's Bella Box. So it's a Maybelline foundation, but I am a little bit excited to try this one because I haven't tried this one, so bonus. Moving on to L'Oreal, not just a concealer. Um, I use this because I don't have any of my Maybelline Age Rewind, uh, and it is brightening, but I don't love it, um, primarily because it's scented, heavily scented, um, and my skin just doesn't like it. Uh, my skin doesn't like it, my nose doesn't like it, my head doesn't like it, so um, it's cheap, it does the job, but as soon as it either goes bad or I finish it, I'm tossing it out and I'm going back to my uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So I got it, but I'm not going to get it again. Next thing on my list was the KVD Liquid Lipstick. Now, I initially wanted this because I wanted to get, what's the colour, Lolita? I wanted to get Lolita, but I ended up getting, um, I think it's Sanctuary. I think it's Sanctuary. I don't know, but it's a brown colour. I ended up getting it in a Bella box, which was great. I love the formula. Um, I don't mind the colour. So, uh, yeah, scratch that off my list because I got one of them and I just wanted to try the formula because I'm on a little bit of a hunt at the moment to try and find the best liquid lip formula for me. And, um, yeah, so would I buy that again? Mm, yeah, especially now, so that she's not running the show anymore. Um, I am a little bit concerned that they're possibly changing the formulas on some of these things, but um, mm, it was on my list and I got it. So yeah, moving on, the next thing on my list was the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. I have not got this yet and I still definitely do want it. So um, yeah, we'll move on from that one. I, um, I'm actually using a different one at the moment that I run underneath the eye, which I believe is a uh, Mecca brand, and um, I like it. But I wonder if maybe the Laura Mercier one is better, or maybe it's just more expensive. I guess we'll find out. Moving on to Viseart, or Visart, I'm not sure how to say this one. I still want to call it Viseart, but a lot of people I know call it Visart. Whatever. I wanted to get the Amethyst palette and the Paris Edit palette. Mm, I really do like these, but I don't like the prices. I like the compactness of the... Compactness? Is that a word? Anyway, I like the um, this compact version of the Paris Edit. Is that... No, the Amethyst. Well, actually, they're both a little bit compact, aren't they? But the Amethyst one, I think, is still smaller. But geez, they cost a lot, and that's probably the reason why I haven't pulled the trigger on them, on either of them, to be honest with you. So yeah, haven't pulled the trigger on those. I still really like both of them, um, but yeah, the price is a bit of a turn off. Um, I, I, if I was going to try any of them, it would definitely be the Amethyst palette because you know purple. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, and I would probably get more use out of the purple one because um, I'm. Mm, yeah, yeah. I want. I still want to try the formula. I definitely do, but it would have to be on sale, or um, I'd have to have some sort of coupon or something uh, to make me pull the trigger on that one. So let's move on. The next thing on my list was the Juvia's palette, the Violets uh, palette, which I ended up purchasing, and um, it cost me a little bit more than thirteen dollars. <laughs> uh, but yeah, nah, it definitely wasn't worth my money. Um, I regret that purchase, purchase, hmm. I don't want to say with a passion, but I mean, my ColourPop shadows are superior in my opinion. Um, maybe it's just how they wear on my eyes, I don't know, but I was disappointed. I really was disappointed. Um, that's really all I've got to say about that. It, it cost me way too much to get into Australia, 
and um, it just wasn't worth it. But the packaging is pretty, and I love how compact it is as well. So it's like this little itty bitty thing. It's cute, right? It's cute, but it's not cute for the price. Uh, I guess if I was purchasing it in America and it only cost me the $13 or whatever it is that it supposedly is over there. Yeah. Anyway. Moving on, the next thing that was on my list was the Physician's Formula Foundation, the Healthy the healthy Something Foundation. It's been on my list forever. I just haven't pulled the trigger because once again, you know, it's one of those ones where I think I have to spend like 60 or $70 Australian on the website that I'm going to get it from and I just never have enough things that I want from that website to purchase it. Um, but I really do want to try it. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And I also wanted to get the liquid lipstick in, I think it's called Vitamin Beat, but it's, it's beautiful. Like, I just, oh my gosh, I don't think I can pull it off, but I want to buy it anyway, just to see if I can try it. Um, it's stunning. Anyway, anyway, I, can't, I'm, I will try it one day. I, I, it's got to be on my list. I mean, it's a liquid lipstick formula. I have to try it. It's just whether I get that color or whether I get something a little bit more wearable. I'll have to brainstorm that one. Anyway, didn't get those. Uh, next on my list was the Give Me Glow Juicy Olive Palette. When this came out, I was like, I never wear those colours, but jeez, it's gorgeous. I, I wanted it. I was like, I don't know whether it was the, um, the YouTube hype. I don't know whether it was all the photographs that I saw, people wearing it all over Instagram, but it was fucking pretty. <laughs> it was just so pretty and... Um, as I said, I don't know whether I could get away with it. I'd love to do all those grungy looks. I just don't think I can get away with it. Maybe it's just my mindset. I don't know, but, um, it's beautiful. And, um, yeah, I ended up crossing it off my list because I just don't think I'll wear it. So, you know, spending the money on it. Mmm, but I still want it. I still do. It's kind of like the, um... Is it the Gemini palette? Well, pretty much everything from Melt. It's, they're all grungy, you know, and I, I love that grungy look, but I'm just not good enough at makeup, I guess, to pull it off, or I just don't have enough confidence within myself to pull it off. But anyway, that was on my list, and I did not purchase that. And the next things on my list was the Benefit Cookie Highlighter and the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. And i got to say that I absolutely love the Cookie Highlighter. I actually was gifted this by um, Teresa Is Dead, um, I won a little competition that she had going and I I can't thank her. I can't thank her any more than I already have. I love it. Um, it's actually, it's what I'm wearing today. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it just running along there on my nose a little bit. But I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, as for the um, Bad Girl Bang mascara, it's okay. It's nothing to write home about. Um, it's not better than my Essence um, Lash Princess. Uh, false lash effect one was and it's far more expensive than that so I got both of those things um, and yeah I would repurchase again the cookie highlighter but not the mascara so not even if it was on special um, so <laughs> I guess that's pretty bad isn't it anyway uh, next up was dose of color Dose of Colors Liquid Lips. I've got five liquid lips here and I didn't purchase any of them at all. So, um, I don't know why. I think it's probably because I have to purchase Dose of Colors uh, products from the website themselves, Dose of Colors. I don't think I can find them anywhere else in Australia, like on an Australian website other than their actual website. Um, and I just haven't committed to a sale. So, um, yeah, they're on my list and um, I just didn't buy them. Alright, so the next thing that was on my list was Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. And I had a few on here. I already had, obviously, a couple. Um, I had Calabasas and... You know what? I can't actually recall. I had Calabasas. Maybe I just had Calabasas. I'm not entirely... No, I had Calabasas and um, Christmas Cookie. And um, I loved Calabasas and I love the formula, but I really didn't dig Christmas Cookie. It looks better on everybody else, not me. So I wanted to pick up Celebrity Skin because I thought maybe, maybe that one would be better on me than Christmas Cookie. But I'm looking at it now and I, I kind of don't think so. Um, after trying quite a few different sort of shades similar to it, I really don't think so. Um, I just... I think it might pull off peachy on me or um, like 
uh, concealer lips, I think. I'm not sure, but I'm not willing to spend the money to find out. But uh, So I didn't get that, but I also had dull parts and androgyny. And I've been after androgyny for so fucking long, guys. But it was always sold out. And um, anyway, it came up uh, again, and I was like, bam, boom, I got it. But I didn't just want to buy one. So I brought the androgyny, and I brought dull parts, which was kind of like... Um, I had it on my wish list, I took it off my wish list, I put it on my wish list, and at the time that I brought Androgyny, Doll Parts was on there, and I brought it. And I gotta say, I love the shit out of Androgyny, but I probably made a mistake getting Doll Parts. So, while it's a very bright pink, it's kind of muted as well, but it's still very pink. It's so pink. Um, <laughs> I just, I, I mean, I can wear it, but it's just not the... It's just not what I go for anymore. Um, mm. And anyway, I um, I don't I won't say that I regret it because I really enjoy mixing Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks together and making different colours. Um, but if I was going to wear something that had a little pinkish to it, I would be more so inclined to wear um, Calabasas because Calabasas on me pulls a little pink. It's like a little bit of red, a little bit of pink. Um, over doll parts so yeah anyway I got both of those but also from Jeffree Star I wanted to get the ice cold highlighter I have wanted this for a little while I think um, predominantly because porcelain on YouTube always brags about it and she uses it on the inner eye portion and like my eyes in here they're very very dark and so I mean I can put highlighter there to sort of pop but nothing really makes them really pop I guess um, so I always wanted to get that, but it's such a big highlighter just to be using it on the inner parts of my eye. And like, I'm like, do I justify it? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of product. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. I don't know. But I guess if, um, I guess if I go on the website to go and buy, um, any more liquid lipsticks or anything else from there, I may come across it if it's not sold out. I don't know yet. But I also wanted to get a lip scrub. I don't really care what flavour. I I do tend to like, um, I can't remember what flavour it is that um, he put in his androgyny lipstick, but it's delicious. Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember what it is, but it, oh, what is that drink that Shane, that, that, what is that drink that Shane Dawson always drinks? Diet root beer. It's, yeah, root, like the, the androgyny lipstick has that root beer scent in it, and I fucking love it. Oh my gosh. So I was thinking, if I do get the lip scrub, which I didn't pick up, um, I would probably want to get it in the root beer flavour, but there's so many different flavours there that were like, oh, that, that looks pretty damn good. So, um, yeah, I really do want to get one of those. Um, but yeah, that's it from Jeffree Star, and unfortunately I didn't get either of those. And we will move on to the next thing, which is per um, four in one love, love, uh, which is per four in one love your selfie foundation. Um, this ended up going on my wish list because, oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember what her name is. Raw Beauty Christie, of course. How can I forget her? Oh my god, guys, did you see that she's had a baby recently? How much does that baby look like her? It's fucking adorable. Your baby is adorable. I just, mmm. Anyway. No, I've got to stop clucking. I just, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, no more kids. <laughs> anyway, um, she looks fantastic in it, and I want to look fantastic too. <laughs> anyway, I do want to try that. Hmm. It's hard to get a hold of though in Australia. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, let's move on. I next had the Cover Effects Duo Blush on my list. Um, these came out and they looked fabulous. Pricey, but fabulous. And I couldn't justify the cost, so I ended up putting a different um, item on my wish list, which was the Jouer um, blushes. Mm. So I didn't buy the cover effects one. Uh, I still love them. I still think that they're absolutely gorgeous, stunning. I love the packaging. I just. Mm. Okay, if they were half that price, definitely, right? Um, but they're not. Anyway, moving on. Uh, to Too Faced. I wanted some Too Faced liquid lipsticks. I had one at the time. What colour did I have? Whatever I had, I didn't really like it. Um, Cool Girl. So I had Cool Girl. I thought that that would be perfect for me because I'm cool school. School. Jesus. Because I'm cool skin toned. But it didn't work out. So I wanted to get some more. 
and I did. I got, um, <clears throat> you know what? I don't remember. Um, Queen Bee. Queen Bee. Oh my gosh. What colours did you get? I can't remember. It's on the screen here, guys. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure I would have selected the colours that I got. Um, but anyway, I can cross those off the list because I definitely did purchase them. But I also wanted to get the chocolate bar palette and I did purchase that and I love it. Uh, and I also did purchase and have on my list the Too Faced Natural Neutrals palette, which I equally love. Um, I couldn't tell you which one I love more. I think they're both fabulous. Um, yeah, anyway, they're on my list and I got them. Also, uh, as I said before, instead of getting the Cover Effects blush duo, I got the Jouer blush duos and I absolutely love that as well. Um, it just works so well. Uh, you can sort of build it up, like it's not like boom in your face. And it really does look natural. Uh, I don't like that whole, um, is it Mimi Bobak? I don't know, like boom, uh, no, rosy cheeks. Um, I naturally have rosy cheeks, I blush a lot, um, plus, I mean, I get nervous a lot, I get heat rash, oh god, is it like rosacea, I think, I don't know, but anyway, I like to have controlled blush, I like to see it, but I don't want it to be like, Jesus, you know, um, so I did purchase that, and I love it, next thing on my list was the ABH Norvina palette, I don't know if I still want this, I kinda do, but I just don't know whether I would use it, um, but I wanted it for quite some time, and I think I just want it because it's a purple palette, but it's different, it's not like all purples, so um, I probably won't get it, to be honest with you. Uh, hmm. Anyway, moving on, the next thing I wanted to get was a Milani foundation, because Milani is cheap, and at the time that I wanted to get this foundation, I also wanted to get a whole bunch of palettes, just to try out the formula, but it's sort of like I got over the idea of buying the palettes, and... I kind of am over the idea of buying the foundation too, so that's definitely not going to be going over onto my list. So we will move on to Colourpop. Now, I wanted quite a few things from Colourpop. I wanted to get this green eyeliner, and I can't show you which one it is because they don't sell it individually anymore. Um, I might be able to find a picture, but I don't think so. Uh, it's apparently really good. I can't even remember what shade it was. Teresa is Dead is always talking about it. But anyway, I found a different formula of eyeliner that works for me um, from a different brand, which is what I'm wearing today. I absolutely love it. I know it probably doesn't go with what I'm wearing or even the makeup, but you know what? I don't care. So, mm. um, anyway, uh, I also wanted to get the Coconut Palette. Is it Going Coconuts? Yeah, Going Coconuts Palette. Uh, pretty much because it looked something like I could just really easily to put on. It looked easy to put on, like, you know, bam, bam, done, and I like that. Um, but I also wanted to get the mauve palette. Making, is it making mauves? Or, hmm, I always get it wrong. Anyway, I wanted to get the mauve palette because I love mauves. Uh, but I've got so many of them, and that's why I didn't pull the trigger on that. I've got so many palettes at the moment that's really mauve toned. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I wanted to get another Belle lipstick. I love, love the shade Belle, and if you saw any of my videos from quite some time back when I had it, I brought one, and I loved it, and I kept it in my handbag, and my toddler at the time got it, and he ate it, and I was devastated, and my partner then went and got me another one, and it wasn't cheap to get over here, uh, and I swore, I swore he wouldn't get this one. I was so careful, but he got it. <laughs> he got it again! I was devastated, and then when I went to go back and get it again, they just don't restock it anymore. I'm, I'm so pissed at myself. I, mm, he hasn't touched any, any of my other makeup, any of it. He could have touched so much, but he didn't. He just, mm, why is it always your favourite stuff, right? But anyway, I can't get it anymore, which makes me want to buy more um, Lux lipsticks from ColourPop because I like the formula, and that's what the Belle formula was. Yeah, um, I also wanted to get the Can You Even lipstick, um, that was just a phase I was going through, and also the Room Service Velvet lipstick, also sort of same thing, um, I'm not really interested in it now, but it was on my list, I didn't buy those. I also from, I can't pronounce this properly, Bourgeois? Bourges? Bourgeois? I don't know, ha, oh, jeez, don't come for me. Anyway, I wanted to get their lip crown in number five, um... I just wanted to try the formula, to be honest with you. 
kind of over it now. Didn't buy it, so hmm, probably not going on my list for 2021 either. And the last two things that I had on my list were from Hourglass. I wanted to get the ambient, um, like one of the ambient lighting palettes. And originally I wanted to get Ethereal Light, but I fucked up and I ordered the, the uh, which one did I order? I ordered Dim Light. And while I can wear it, it's not what I, it's not what I wanted. And I, I do enjoy it, but it's seventy-seven dollars for one sort of thingy. I'm like, jeez. Anyway. I ended up ordering the dim light by accident and then I went later and I, I brought the um, ethereal light and I love them both. They're bougie, they make me feel good, I don't know if they're doing much, but I like them, right? So um, yeah, that was everything that was on my wish list for um, 2021. I ended up buying 19 out of 51 items and um, yeah, how many of those? Uh, only five of them. Only five of them made it over to my 2021. Which ones are they? So, obviously this is a rolling wish list. Okay, is it five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight. Why did I have five? All right, so eight products made it over to my 2021 list so far. So that is the Blackjack Intense Lip Therapy Balm, the Pixie Glow Tonic, the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick, the Physician's Formula, healthy liquid lipstick in vitamin beets, the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, the Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter, the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub, and the Per 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. There you go. Whew, that was a mouthful and a half. So, um, yeah, I have started on my 2021 wish list. Um, I haven't purchased anything yet. And, um... It goes to show you, doesn't it? I mean, that that's a lot of products. So if I only... Hang on. If I only brought 19 out of 51 products, 19 plus... Was it 8 that I rolled over? 19 plus 8 is 27. That's, that's 24 items that was on my wish list that I really, really wanted it. Convinced myself that I wanted and didn't buy. That's why you have to have some self-control. You have to weigh up. Do I really want this? And you still might end up buying things that you, hmm, um, yeah. But look, hey, I enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun with the products that I've brought. And I brought a hell of a lot more than 19 products in 2020, I can tell you that much. Um, which, But that's another video. I mean, I got another list here, which is everything that I brought in 2020, which I will talk about in depth in another video. But I think, I think I've think i already taken up like 40 minutes um, in this video, and I'm going to have to... Although I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to cut that down, guys. So I really do appreciate if you stuck it out to the end. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. You know, click that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed doing the video and I look forward to my next video. So stay tuned. Bye.